Succeeded in wasting our time. But it's so appalling that none of you could make a tangible statement as to what happened here last night. Your own boss was murdered. And both of you are here telling me rubbish. I think I don't have an option here. So we are arresting you and taking you to the station. Uh, Officer, move there. Uh, hey, Come on, move. Sir. Shut up and move. Mommy, sir. Shut up. <laughs> Good morning, madam. Good morning. Isa. Ma. Grace. What happened? What's going on? Sorry, who is she? Now, madam. Now, got wife. It's like you're coming from a far distance. Oh, you're right, my dear. I'm playing to be precise. And where is Inkado? He was supposed to pick me from the airport this morning. Isa? You see, madam, that's the reason why we are here. I'm Inspector Bayo, and this is my clique. We are from police headquarters. <laughs> police headquarters? Yes. What for? I, 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 I hope there's no problem. See, madam, I don't know if this is the right place to say this. Eh? I hope Ukado is not any kind of trouble. Calm down. <laughs> See, I'm my calm. Mom. It's okay, it's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Just take it easy. <laughs> See, your husband, Mr. Nkado, uh -huh. was more than last. <laughs> Because of vengeance, you go west from me. One love can cost you another fight. She will leave to face what you've been building, and you won't escape. You see, from your statement and that of your cook, it's not far fetched that your husband, Mr. Nkado, employed the service of a driver. Who might have murdered him and gone to thin air? Nkado, my husband. Can be extravagant. Yes. Being stubborn at times. But employing a driver? No. Officer, there is more to this than you're not seeing. There is more. I'm sorry for what happened to your family. I mean, very, very sorry for it. But what we have to do now is to try and track down the mother of your husband and bring them to work. How? How can we do that? What do we do, officer? Help me. Okay. What do we do? Let's see what we're going to do. Tell me something. Your husband, when he was alive, what kind of a man was he to you? What kind of a husband? What kind of friends did he keep? Kado, my husband, was a good man, very accommodating, but could turn to the other side when he would cheat him or anyone close to him. He could be very extravagant but stubborn. He also likes clubbing and hanging out with old friends. So, what was he doing for a living? Nothing actually. Nothing? 
Nothing. My parents and I tried convincing him to work in my father's company in Dublin. But he refused. So, how come about all this? I mean, the big house, the exorbitant cars. They are actually mine. My parents gave them to me as my wedding gift. And because I have so much love for my husband, Nkedo, I was willing to share everything with him as long as you're happy. Okay, that will be all for now. We'll see what we'll do. We'll see what we'll do. My men and I were working on it. We'll see what we'll do. Is your girl home? Ah, I beg. You come, they go now. Problem, deal. Come, they go, I beg. What are you talking about? What problem? Ah, if madam come to you, you ain't gonna like her more. I beg, come, they go, come, they go. Madam. Eh, madam. Madam, how are you? Yes. Come, they go. Go. Lisa. Madam, sleep. What's she looking for? Uh, I know more, madam. I know she's fine. I should be asking you those exact same questions. Who are you? And what are you doing in my matrimonial home? Isa. Where is it? I beg your pardon. You have it. Your what? Isa. I want this person out of my vicinity now. You are the prostitute. Okay? Is that, Are you crazy? Huh? Is something wrong with you? I don't want to repeat myself. Go now, go. You go now. No, no. You, you're fired. Come on, this. I want the whole truth now. Who is she and what does she want? Madam, I don't know. I don't even know who she defined. From all indications, she knows your name. And it shows she's been visiting this house. Madam, I look good. Talk to God. Mm. Shut up! Isa, I want you to tell me the whole truth. Or would you want me to call this person to hear that from you? Okay, just a minute. So you've not heard? Heard what? There's a problem. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. See, you better start going now before the police meet you here. Police? Uh, uh, police. I mean, talk, talk to me, please. Talk to me. What is going on? Uh, it's Awoga. Oh. Uh, Awoga. You were shot dead by an unknown gunman two nights ago. Uh, and uh, our madame, the wife. From Dublin yesterday morning. Wife. Yes. Uh, madam. Yoga. Yes. My uh, Wife. Yes, madam. Enkado dead. Shot. Why?
understand it anymore. What exactly is happening? He's supposed to be here before now. And we have only three days to the event. My brother, that is not the issue. You see? I'm beginning to be worried. And I'm having this issue over the whole thing. I don't know. What is happening? Please, please do. Why don't you call? Maureen! Maureen, open the door and talk to me. I'm your father. To me now. She didn't say anything. Instead, she locked herself in the room and was crying. I knocked and knocked, she couldn't open the door. Hey! about what? See, Maureen is not in a good mood now. She came back from the city in the morning and she locked herself in the room crying. That is why I'm, I, I'm asking you what is happening. Crying? Perhaps she must have heard. Kado, are you talking about? Kado, you are ill, of course. He, he, he's dead. <laughs> it's not true now. It can happen. What happened? They said he was shot by an unknown comrade two nights ago. <laughs> not on my life, oh. Huh? Not on my life on these promises. Hey, have a good afternoon. I'm Debana. Faith, what's going on here? Why is every face here smoking? Please, I just need to see more. But what's going on here? <laughs> what's happening? Talk to me now. Our in law is dead. Oh, <laughs> tell him where you're from. You have not heard now that Bunny Face, Mom's sleep brother, is dead. Well, I'll, I'll warn him now. Please, um, have you seen um, Kado? Those guys said the painters are set to paint the house, and they're all here now. Isaiah, Papa. we are not talking about Boniface here. Our in-law, Nkado, is dead. But how come? How manage? How did it go? Nkado, dead? It's a lie now. After all, he promised me the internet, the Papa no, the bed, the Nico, the house, the Nico. Are you serious? It's not dead. Wait, he'll jump the cops. He can't be dead now. Papa, he promised to give me 200,000 naira for the internet. Baby, New York, New York, Canada. No, no, it's impossible. How many? Where is he? Where is the cops? Okay, fine. Where's Maureen now? Talk to me now! Maureen! Timothy, what do you want to do now? Bada. I am not convinced with the whole thing right now. See, we have to... And find out exactly what is going on. I think so. That's what we have to do. This cannot happen now. It cannot. Hey! It's got to buy it. Huh? I don't know why you're still wasting time in both of them. They 
each have your hand in the mother of my husband. Arrest them! It's okay, madam. It's okay, madam. Now, let's thank all of you. I know why I have not arrested you and taken you to the station. But I'm beginning to find out that my reasons are being defeated here. So, for the very last time, tell me what you know about the death of Mr. Nkadu. Else, I'm taking both of you to the station. Talk to me! Uh, okay, uh, okay, Inspector. We'll go talk through. We'll go talk through. Girlfriend, that's girl, fine, come. And that's our girlfriend, name uh, Bernard. Our girl and friend, then go to the girl village. So, as they go to the village, they can't come back. When they come back, our girl and friend, they come to the quarry. They come get arguments. Very serious quarrel. Now that night, now I'm going to die. They had a quarrel? What was the bone of contention? I don't know what's in Kosamu, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I believe, say, Narage Kosamu. So, I overheard the girl call Nkado her fiance. How come? Okay, now, this Bernard guy, if you see him, will you be able to recognize him? What does he look like? Oh, okay, Inspector. Mm -hmm. uh, the man is very tall uh, and uh, his skin, his skin is very light uh, he's very, very fair, uh, just like a warga. Mm. That means if you see him, you will be able to recognize him? Mm. Yes, sir. What about the Morin girl? Where can we find her? Where? Where does she stay? Do you know where we can find her? Yes, sir. I will go to place. I will go to place. Okay, you've done well by cooperating with me. So now I'm not going to arrest you. But I'm taking you to wherever we're going to find her. So you move it. Move it. Thank you, sir. I'm yet to be convinced that Nkado is dead. Tomorrow morning, the first thing I will do is to go to Idi the land to find out exactly what happened. Papa, that is even the least of my worries right now. That is not what is bothering me at the moment, Papa. He's married. Inkado is being married. As I'm talking to you, his wife is in this country, right in his very house. Huh? But who is feeding you with this? Inspector Bayo, and this is my colleague. We are from police headquarters. In other words, you people are police officers. Yes, sir. You're right, sir. We are actually the officers in charge of the mother of Nkado. So we are here to ask your daughter some questions. Are you insinuating that our, our, our daughter is the mother of her supposed, uh, of her supposed husband? No, sir. All he's trying to say is that we are here to ask some questions that could lead us to tracking down the murderers of Mr. Nkadu. It's okay, Uncle. Papa, please, gentlemen, have a seat. Madam? That is the fact that we are like pawns in the hands of fate. 
You see, fate has a way of dealing with we mortals. You are victim, so is every other person. The fact is this. See, Mr. Nkado is dead and dead for real. There's no amount of crying, wailing or weeping that will bring him back to life. So what we have to do here is to forge ahead with life. So, like I said before that we are here to question you. Maureen, I want to know something. What is the relationship between you and the dead in He was my friend. As a matter of fact, we are supposed to be hosting friends and well wishes right here in my father's compound in the next three days. But like you rightly said, fate. Fate has dealt me a very big blow. All his promises to my family and I, his promise to spend our honeymoon in Dublin. Tell Futel, it can never be. It's okay, it's okay, young lady. But I want to know something. Did he tell you that he was married? Not at all. In the course of our relationship, he never made mention of such. All he ever said to me was that he was a prince. A prince? Wasn't he a prince? Oh, my husband. He didn't say a thing like that. Does this imply that Unkado was not a prince? Unkado is not even from a royal family. Let's talk more of being a prince. I, 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 I think that there's a misconception somewhere, but I, I, I can't place it. Now, there's something I want to know. This Bernard, who is he to the late Unkado? Is he a friend or a fool? He's neither both. He's just a chauffeur. A driver? Yeah. Now, do you believe in any way that Bernard could have a hand in the mother of Nicado? Sure I do. Yes. I do. As a matter of fact, I am convinced that he murdered Nicado. I remember being the night before he was murdered. Bernard stormed into the house in such a very terrible mood. We walked straight into the bedroom. A few seconds later, we started hearing their voices. They all seem outdated, except this. Wow. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I prefer this to the other one you chose. Really? Yeah! <laughs> then I guess I have to go pull that Helen. Alright. Yeah. Hi, Helen. It's you, Maureen. And now, I find this. Um, the material I sent you the last time, have you done anything on it? Oh, great. Just leave it like that, please. No, 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 there's no problem. Just the change in style. Yes, yes. For real now. Definitely, when I'm coming, I'll come with a new style. Yes. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hi, sweet. Mm. You're back. Mm. Did I miss you? No. Hello Faith, how are you? I'm very well, and you? I'm alright. Why? What's going on? It's kind of dull in here. So, how is um, the preparation going? <laughs> it's going great. Um, just doing it in our own little way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I'll have a speaker to privately. Okay. I, it's 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 nothing. I I'll be with you ladies. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Il m'a plus de plus simple. Il y a de jeunes qui pas. anything from what they were saying because my friend and I were in the living room. But the moment Ben had left, I walked in and asked my dearest what was going on. But guess what? He only told me that I had nothing to worry about. That it was nothing. Just a minor misunderstanding with the kid man Isa. Okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> everything is all right. Um, <laughs> everything is perfect. We, um, we, 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 we had a few issues with the gate man, but I think he's been taken care of. Not any show. No, madam. I swear to God, nothing like that happened. No. <laughs> I do believe him. Yes, I believe him. I've always suspected something shady going on between those two. Ben must have murdered him. He must have murdered him. If not him, maybe he sent some gunmen to do his dirty deals for him that very night. I only came here to unravel the mystery. The mystery behind this story. Nkadu. I hear you call this man Nkadu. Not this man, I kill our guy. Are you insane? Shut up! Are you insane? This is Nkadu, our supposed in law. Is he your husband? My in-law, what, what happened? Please, lost. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm sorry for all that has happened. It was all for vengeance. I'm lost here. Can someone carry me along? Officer. This is the same Kado that was believed to be dead. I'm not Nkado. The real Nkado. He's dead. My name is Bernard. He slapped a couple of weeks back.
So this is the only reason you, you wanted to destroy my family? God will punish you. Yes. I don't know if this is the right time to say this, but... I just might say that I'm... Defeat. It's all about, about a vow I made to myself and my late father. The man who saw me through university, I vowed to avenge the disgrace meted out to me by the woman who embarrassed me publicly because I tried to woo her. The woman who slapped me. But how does that include my husband? Who was killing him? Part of your vengeance? What's that? <laughs> A man who was a good friend, a man who helped me achieve my aim. But madam, you know what they say. Fate is inevitable. And so is the case of your husband. See, I tried very hard to get a job, but it wasn't coming. So in order not to be seen as a thing of mockery, I decided to join my friend Rufus. He's mechanic workshop. Oh, Abel, give me that two flats on the Abel. What's up with that? You know they yet? Emmy, take away well. Carry that thing up now. You know this here now. Carry her up. After a couple of weeks, I realized that there is a particular lady who manages to distract everyone. She doesn't say no way. If I got come back, you tell her I said the little man. Abi, now make her not finish your job. You know they come for that kind of thing next time. Bernard, come, 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 Bernard, come. Come. Waiting now, waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's like, say you know, like this way, this you know. Waiting, waiting. Who, who, who should be? Oh, but who else is going to be that pretty damn thing where they pass here every time? Let's say this, you know, you know, like him. Um. Why again when they talk about this? Why well, again when they talk about this? Yeah, Name this. What can they even talk about? Name. Hi. He gets right, sir. He gets big sense. But if you arrange this girl now. What you talk? I said I don't arrange this girl. If you don't be this one, I hope I will worry you. Benad. Because all of us did this shop now. This is the same level. Then I come. You well? No, Papa. Wait, Bro. no best. No, oh, my name. If, if you are wet, Daddy, you make it try. Mm. Your gap, then, then fail. In the half, the boys are not going to fail. I beg. I got arrange this girl. Before you go, write your will give me a bit. I got arrange this girl and I go see her. you go now? Bro! Bro! 
Ouais, la fille de... Imagine what that, that girl did to me. Bernard, vengeance could make you go crazy. But I would rather suggest that you leave vengeance for God. Uh, please, please. Gado, please. Please. As far as I'm concerned, vengeance is better served cold. Yes, vengeance is the only thing right now that can put my heart to rest. What is that now? That's 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 a very big pill to swallow. You you were not there. That girl rubbished me in front of everybody. Vengeance is the only way I can get back at her. Give her an open embarrassment. So, how do you intend to achieve this? That's why I'm here. I don't know. But that's that's exactly where I think you come in because I'll need your help if that, if that would happen. I'm listening. I don't know how to tell you this, but if... No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, um... I have a plan. Okay? You're a man. And you know that women and money are in good terms, so I am... And you also know that when a man has money, he doesn't have to make a special invitation for women to be around him. Go ahead, I'm listening. Bernard, Bernard, what are you saying in a nutshell? I know, look, you are my friend. Yes. And then, this plan, for it to work, I need your full support. Just, um, I'm, I'm really thinking, you know you have money, you, you have a very beautiful house, you, you, have, you have cars, I, the kind of things that women like now, you know, you know it now they talk about and then you, you see the way you dress, you know, and can I, can, can you give me 30 days in your house? Just one month. Okay, um, I'll need your clothes, your cars, and uh, some money as well. You understand? All I need to do is just to masquerade and just pose around town like, like, um, like I'm the owner of all these things. And uh, trust me, I'm telling you, before the end of 30 days, then I tell you, I'll have vengeance at the end of the day because sleeping with Maureen and her likes will not even be a problem. So, Bernard. What you're saying in the essence that I should vacate my house for one whole month for you. Don't talk like that now. Don't make it look that ugly. Okay? Look, all I'm saying is that uh, you just give me your car, some of your, you see the way you're dressed now, 
some of your clothes. And as for the car, I mean, you can, you can even pretend to, to you can just pose as, as, as my driver when you're less busy. Not, not all the time, not all the time. Just when you're less busy, you can pose as my driver. Then, I, then I, I will pose like your driver. Relax. Not all the time. You know, when you have, maybe just once or twice, when you have the time, you know, but Nami then go to see with the car. You understand? I go around town, pose around with these things. That's basically the plan. Bernard, it would work. How do you expect me to accept such a thing and then expose my house, my family to a great kind of danger? Ah, come on, come on. You're not endangering anything here. I'm not asking you to forget your house. You, you can, you can, I can, I can tell them that you're squatting with me, that you have accommodation problem. You know how these things are. You see, Bernard, I'm very sorry. It can't work. It can work. See, I would advise you to you need some time to rest. You free, you just lie down, take a shower, lie down, and tell the steward to prepare something good for you. But then you wake up, you you understand what I'm saying. Please. Thank you very much. Your boy, help your guy. Help your guy now, big. I'll see you. Vengeance, she go away from my What love can cost you? She may know the fight. She will live to face what you've been building, and you won't escape what you've been creating. Vengeance. You knock at my door If I didn't open Life is not by force You don't have to broken Hear the sound of vengeance Knocking at your door You don't have to I cannot And I please wake up Please wake up You're still awake? Yes, Bernard. Bernard, you know me too well right from my childhood. I can't see a man in this kind of condition and then I'm much more my very close friend. It would have been better I didn't meet you at Bia Power than seeing you in this kind of condition and then not providing a solution. Ah. <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry if my troubles um, cost you your sleep. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, can't we find another solution to this? I mean, can't we, can't we do something else instead of what you're asking of me? Well, honestly, I must tell you, I've been thinking myself. I, um, I've been thinking, but I, I can't seem to come up with something else. But hey, if you have a different idea, why not? You could try it out. Well, I know that it's too tough for me or too difficult for me to do. You know me too well. It's just a matter of trust. I know. I've made a vow. I've made a vow to my wife that I will never do anything that will bring shame to her and her parents. should be up and then you and your family will be left in peace. Oh God. I gave it up for the sake of my marriage. My stubbornness. My extravagant life. My gambling. I'm the prince that I play. 
Well, this, this is the last thing that I want to, to bring smile and laughter to the face of a friend. Then I have no choice than to do it once more. But I just said one month. Yeah, one month. I'll be done. Someone to steal what I never the person's tomorrow and then uh, do some introduction. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You say you don't want to come to the bed? Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. As, 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 as soon as it's, I was already. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. No. If I'm not, I'll let you know. All right, catch some sleep. Thank you, sir. Talk to you in the morning. Vengeance, she go away strong my What love can cost you? You may know the fight She will leave to face What you've been building And you won't escape What you've been creating Vengeance You knock at my door If I didn't open Life is not by force You don't have to broken Hear the sound of vengeance Knocking at your door You don't have to I cannot And I please wake up Please wake up You're still awake? Yes, Bernard. Bernard, you know me too well right from my childhood. I can't see a man in this kind of condition and then I'm much more my very close friend. It would have been better having me to you at be a power than seeing you in this kind of condition and then not providing a solution. Ah. <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry if my troubles um, cost you your sleep. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, can't you find another solution to this? I mean, can't you, can't you do something else instead of what you're asking of me? Well, unless I must tell you, I've been thinking myself. I, um, I've been thinking, but I, I can't seem to come up with something else. But hey, if you have a different idea, why not? You could try it out. Well, no, that is too tough for me or too difficult for me to do. You know me too well. It's just a matter of trust. I know. I've made a vow. I've made a vow to my wife that I would never do anything that would bring shame to her and her parents. Should be up, and then you and your family will be left in peace. Oh, God. I gave it all for the sake of my marriage. My stubbornness, my extravagant life, my gambling. If this is the last thing that I want to, to bring smile and laughter to the face of a friend, then I have no choice than to do it once more. But I just said one month. Yeah, one month. I'll be done. I'm 
your sister was already. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. No. If I'm not, I'll let you know. All right, guys, I'm sleeping. Thank you, sir. Talk to you in the morning. Oh, this is my gatekeeper, Isa, and of course, uh, my cook, Chris. This is my very good friend, his name is Ben. Yeah. Uh, I summoned you here for a little discussion. I will increase your salaries if you will cooperate with us. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, but, Oga, which kind of cooperation you want to make me cooperate? Yeah, thank you very much for that question. From today onward, my friend here, Benna, will be taking my position as a guard. You will take every instructions from him. And then, he will be responsible for your salaries at the end of every month. He will be your gate man, your gatekeeper. Okay. And then uh, Gracia will be your cook for the period of one month. And I will be this driver. Yeah? Okay. Nobody must hear this, not even madam. Nobody must hear this. Not even madam. Yell who you do and say no evil. In case you hear, keep your mouth shut. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So from today onward, he is in cargo. I am there. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can go to the You're welcome, sir. were all carried out. Just on point. So on that fateful day, me and my late friend, Kado, decided to come to the village together to finalize on how to publicly disgrace more. Exactly the vengeance which I had vowed to take on her. But after we got back home, he confronted me. They all seem outdated except this. Wow! Oh my god! This is beautiful. I prefer this to the other one you chose. Really? Yeah. <laughs> then I guess I have to get the whole lot All right. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Helen. It's you, Maury. And now, I find this. Um, the material I sent you the last time, have you done anything on it? Oh, great. Just leave it like that, please. No, 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 there's no problem, just a change in style. Yes, yes. For real now? Definitely, when I'm coming, I'll come with a new style. Yes. Hello, ladies. Hi, sweet. Mm. You're back. Mm. Did I miss you? No. Hello, Faith. How are you? I'm very well. And you? I'm all right. Why? What's going on? It's kind of dull in here. So, how is um, the preparation going? <laughs> it's going great. Um, just doing it now only the way. Yeah. Maybe. So, um, <clears throat> I'll rather speak with you privately. Okay. Hi, it's 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 nothing. I I'll be with you ladies. Make ourselves at home. Put in a few drinks or pick something. Get a drink for your friend. Meaning of 
Lord of Ceremonies. That is not madness. It's not madness. That's crazy reality. Isn't it enough? Isn't it too extreme? Tell you what to say. I, just can you think of something, please? You can't pull the rug off my feet right now. I beg you. Now just listen. Bernard, I am done with this whole thing. Yes, I am done with it. You have tonight to move all your things into the vice quarters. My wife is moving into the house by noon tomorrow. This is what I have to say. <clears throat> well, I'm very sorry for any inconveniences. Just that I can't make out anything from what they're saying, but no. Okay. All right, just be careful. Okay. Is everything okay? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> everything is all right. Um, <laughs> everything is perfect. We, um, we, 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 we had a few issues with the gate man, but I think he's been taken care of. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Come on, stop it. You left your friend all alone in the living room. Why? Isn't she complaining? That's not a problem. Besides, you have been to the Taylor's place. Oh, I see. The Taylor's place, huh? Um. Tell you what, why don't you wait for me and the living room while I change into something different and drop your levels off mm. and maybe take you out later, maybe they will. You will talk about that, yeah. I say so. Alright. Bye, I'll see you. to move to the boys' quarters that he's inspecting his wife. You decided it's okay. It's okay. to murder him. Okay. Oh, please. Spare me the petrol. You killed my husband. If you did not kill him, who did? Relax, relax. Who murdered him? Relax, madam. So he, he's got no enemy. He's a good man. My husband. I had no reason whatsoever to kill your husband. He was a good man, a good friend. But how come? How do you expect us to believe you? He had no misunderstanding with anybody. But you, that same night he was murdered. You were nowhere to be found. So now tell us, how do you want to convince all of us that you did not murder Nkado? Make me understand that. Go ahead and handcuff me. You can kill me as well if it makes you happy. But I did not kill my friend. I brought myself here on my own. If I had killed Unkado right now, I will be on the run. I only left this house because he had told me earlier that his wife 
be returning the following morning and knowing fully well that the game was up, there was no reason for me to have stayed behind. But unfortunately, unfortunately he died. And only God, only God knows why. I'm sorry, young man. We don't have to leave it at that. We are taking you to the station for further investigation. So, young man, move in. Because of Ms. vengeance, Let you go away from my What love this, can cost you, you may not defy. She will leave to face. to stop by to see me after all I must admit I'm I'm really moved to see you but it also goes to show that you are a good person I'm not a bad person. You're not even that aggressive. But why? Why did you slap me? Why did you have to do that? I don't know. And now I have taken a this far in disgracing you the way I did. Just, I'm not proud of what I did, but I just wanted to pay you back in your own coin. But I'm sorry. I know how you feel. Ricardo, you don't know how I feel. You don't know even the spirit of how I feel. How could you? too extreme, Gado. Feeling you disgust me. Please. Point of correction. Don't call me Gado. My name is Bernard. I'm not in Gado. Looking back, I, like I said, I'm really not proud of what I did. I, I wish that all that happened never happened. Because you don't deserve to be treated that way. But I did it anyways. I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me to call this a sweet revenge because courtesy of my revenge. I found love. I found love in the midst of vengeance. You are in the sweetest thing that has happened to me lately. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. If I may ask, what would have happened if not for the interruption caused by Inkado's death? What was your plan to lose the marriage? Uh, to be honest to you, I don't know. Or are just going to stick to the plan? Which was? Have everyone gather on your father's premises expecting us to show up and we don't. But in the midst of all of that, I was caught in the middle. 
caught in the middle of love. But how come everybody knew you as Ankara the Prince, even during my hairstylist? Those people you saw are people I bought, people I paid. People I paid to, to do all of that. Address me that way. Just to back up the fake identity I assumed. Once again, I am sorry. Bernard. Sorry, I can't pay for what you've done to this heart. It will not and can never pay for it. Give me that Nori, bring it back. Nori, come back here. Bring that down here, Nori. Bring it. See, you're the one here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What is it? What is going on here, Isaiah? Papa, Papa. What I say, you What is it? What is it? What is What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is What is it? 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 What is What is your business in what she is carrying? <laughs> By the way, what are you carrying? Good! Papa, it's just a flask. Mm, just flask. It's uh, just flask. Flask with food inside. Who owns the food? But ask her, who owns the food? But who? Who owns it? Food. Is it for who? Papa, the food is for that stupid, idiotic criminal, that murderer, that stupid penalty. He owns the food. Morning. Is it true? Yes, Papa, he started. Yeah. Will you shut up? This your dirty man. Oh. After all that stupid boy did to my family, and dragged the name of my family to the mud, and making me an object of ridicule, you still have the demerits to cook food for him, Mori. So you connived with him to do all that to my family. Now give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Now listen Mari. This will be the last time the name of that idiot will be mentioned in this house. Let alone to have anything to do with him. Do you hear me? Papa, it's not work. Do you think it will work? It won't work. Because I've already given my heart to you. See, you are you, you always as a forget and then giving out your heart. Why? Now listen to me. Go and get back your heart. That boy is a killer, a murderer, a woman, a woman, See, that boy will die because the penalty for murder is death. They will hide him. Yes. Even if he dies, he still lives in me. Mm hmm? Look at Mori. Besides, I know one thing for sure that he is innocent. And very, very soon, watch it. Mori has brainwashed you. He will be accelerated. He has brainwashed you. He has brainwashed you. Meanwhile, I'm carrying his child. Yeah. Mori, as I, what did I hear her say? What's not the man? She said she is pregnant for you. Hey! I don't know where you're from. I don't I don't know where you're from. I don't know where you're from. Hey! I don't know where you see, I believe you, Bernard. I do believe your story. But the question here is, who killed Incarnate? 
He was shot on the chest and the bullet pierced through his heart. So, I want you to think and think deeply now and see if you can remember if you ever had any kind of misunderstanding with anybody during the course of your stay in that house. Not really. I can't think of any right now, no. Why don't you try? Try and see if you can remember anything for this can help this investigation. Yes! Austin! Austin? Yes, Austin! Austin killed Ngalo. Austin, I need to speak with Modern right now, please. I need to speak with Modern right now. Are you sure about what you're saying? Yes, Austin killed Ngalo. You are sure? You have to believe me. Austin did it. So, who is this Austin and why do you want to speak with Maureen? Austin is Maureen's ex fiance I can remember vividly, he came to the house one time to threaten me and told me that he would do everything within his power to make sure. Oh. Everything within his power. Yes. It's all coming together. He threatened that he would do everything within his power to make sure that I and Maureen never get together. And that fateful day. Yes. And he must have thought I was the one lying on that bed on that fateful day. Are you sure of what you're telling me? And then he shot my friend. He killed him, Kado. You're sure of what you're saying? Hello, who's this? Sweetie, don't tell me that you no longer have my number. It's Maureen. Maureen? So what do I owe this call? I mean, what can I do for you? I've missed you so much. I hope you do the same. Um, Maureen, well, that's good to hear. Yeah, that's good to hear. So, what can I do you for? I just want to apologize for what happened between us. Okay? Can you please come over so we can talk over it? Come over? Come over? Come over? Okay. Okay. Where, where precisely are you right now? I'm at home. All by myself. I suppose you're coming right away. At home, at home, at home. Your house. Your house. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> I am taking the next available back to your house right now, okay? Okay. See ya. Alright.
what's happening here. Young man, I am compromised. And these are my colleagues. You're under arrest for the murder of Mr. Ankadu. Now move it. Austin Peters, if I leave you and my boys with this interrogation, you wouldn't like the way it will go. But then, I want to give you another chance to tell me exactly what you know about the death of Mr. Nkadu. I want to know everything from the gun merchant to the gang. Everything. I don't know what you're talking about. I will make you understand what I'm talking about. On the first of this month, you went to Mr. Nkado's house and threatened to do whatever it is within your power. I have come to warn you, you to stay away from my woman. To make sure that it doesn't work out between him and your former fiance, Mori, which you succeeded in doing. Seven days later, that is on the eighth of this month, he was murdered. That's what I'm talking about. Look, officer. All these are just claims. I mean, claims. I don't even know Mr. Nkado in person. I have never seen him. Look, I have never handled a gun all my life. I mean, my entire life. Talk more of killing someone with it. From, from nowhere, twist my hands and take her off from me because you feel you have money. Why are you so callous? Look, cause be on two women. Cause be on two women if all this is happening because of a woman. Mr. Man, who is Zulu? Who is Zulu? Zulu is a friend of mine who decided to help me and carry out my vengeance. He shot him. I did not. Oh. So you killed him. You hired him to kill Mr. Kato. Now is the time for us to bring this to an end. We have to go get the murderers of Mr. Nkadu. Yes. Zulu was arrested yesterday by other police officers on separate assignment. So we are charging him to court very soon. And Bernard? Bernard, that's the reason why I'm here. What do you want us to do with him? Mm, nothing. Just, just let him go. After all, he's innocent. Oh, if you'll excuse me.
An officer. Pardon? You can take this. Thank you for tracing the murders of my husband. Thank you. All this for me? Come on. Well, thanks for your good gesture. It's nothing, anytime. Thank you very much. Nice working with you. It's my pleasure. Have a nice day. Madam, I actually decided to visit because I wanted to get a chance to speak with you one on one and then tender my heartfelt apologies for the death of your husband, my friend. I'm, I'm so sorry because I know that I know they took his life because of me. It's okay. The most important thing is that the mother of my husband has been finally nabbed. So now I can go ahead and bury him. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yes, speaking of his burial, that's part of the reason I'm here. I would like to know when the burial is dated for. Um, it's actually going to be in a week's time. And all arrangements has been settled together. Oh, please do not do not hesitate to to call on me if um, if you need my help in any way. I'll be glad to make myself available. Oh, thank you, but it's okay. Yeah, but I'll be all now. Bernard, wait a minute. Huh? Are you Bernard Bilo? Yes, yes ma'am. Why, why do you ask? I said it. My husband said a lot about you. He did mention about lots of his friends, but there's something about this particular Bernard Willow that he talked about. Well, I never got into it. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me. Uh, your husband was a good man. I really, really, really miss him. Ah. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. In less than two weeks from now, I will be going back to Dublin to continue my work and join my parents there as well. Okay, that's 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 good. I I mean I I thank God for you. That's good. Um I feel it wouldn't be out of place asking you to retain this house to further notice. This house. Yeah. It's all yours, Mark. Keep it. Are you sure? The inspector said he was released yesterday. Miss Sinkado said she saw him last yesterday evening. Why hasn't he called me? Mary. He babbles me the way you think at times. Yes. I mean, call you for what? If I may ask, for what? Why must it call you for what? For what? A man who gave you the highest grace of your life. What for all in the name of vengeance? Marie, not just you alone, but your family. And here you are talking about love. Marie, why? Don't tell me you still have feelings for him because I will take that from you. I will. Yes, please. I love him. I love him so much, Faith. I've come to love him so dearly. I've, I've 
fallen so crazily, stupidly, madly in love with him. I love him with all my love. Mommy, shut up! Shut up! Child, why? Why are you talking like this? I don't know him fully well that he's never what he said he was. He's never in Kado that he said he was. He's never a businessman for any, any reason. This man is just a common good son in Kari for Kana to be out And he's a he's not talking about love. Please! You will understand. You will for crying out loud, what is it that I don't understand? No, then just tell me! What is it? Favor, I am carrying his child. Huh? Favor, I am pregnant. I haven't kept his baby growing in my womb. is up and I'm sorry about all that happened. And I think the right thing for us all to do is go our separate ways and like, try to put our lives together again. Okay? Please. Bernard. Why are you dismayed? Why are you being so mean to me? What have I done wrong? Is this how I get paid back for helping you out of police net? Not to even mention the embarrassment you cost my family. Bernard. Marie, please. Please, please. I have told you countless times that God is going to give you another man. A man who is worthy to be your husband. A man who is better than I am. Way better than the fictitious prince I can let you know, you used to know. I'm not proud of what I did, okay? I brought shame to you, I brought shame to your family. That I know, and I also know that they, they are not going to be happy having you around me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. My family can't even stand the mention of your name. She's out of the country. I'm sorry. The only reason I'm still here is that she... I don't know. I think it's God. But for some good reason, she made me the occupant of this house. And 
That's why I'm still here, but please, can we not just do this? you want it. Feeling deep inside 